Darren, it's been a long 13 weeks without football, but you must be delighted to be back. Ah, oh, finally back on the grass where I'm, where I'm comfortable. Yeah, it's been, it's been tough for everyone. Listen, it has been tough, but I've got to be honest, I've had, I've had a lovely uh, three months with my family. Um, and credit to my family, you know, the discipline. We've, we've stuck to the rules that the government have given us and that. So we, we've had a really good time. It's been difficult at times, but... You know, we, we've enjoyed it, but there's there's no getting away from how much me and the boys and Junior and everyone's just missed being at football. So, delighted to be back. Yeah, I guess the important thing to touch on is that all the players and yourselves and the backroom staff were tested Monday and no positive tests, meaning you could get underway with training yesterday and today. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't the most comfortable experience being tested. Um, but thankfully the result's the most important thing and everyone's come back clear and fit and well and raring to go. So we've had a couple of days back on the grass already and you know the boys are, are chomping at the bit and, 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 and in good shape to be honest. And you can just you just sense it with them that they've missed it as much as I have. They just want to be back around their mates and, and, and having a ball at their feet. And what an opportunity for us to after that break to go into a big playoff competition and starting off with Yeovil in a few weeks, but they must be really excited. Do you know what, Ad? They deserve it as well. And I'm going to have a little rant now because, you know, while I've been away, I've been, you know, there's been a lot of things mentioned and read uh, that, that I've seen on social media and stuff like that. And people suggesting that we've had some type of advantage through our, our pitch and what have you. And I'm, I, don't, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. The, the form that these boys were in before lockdown of one defeat in 17, 18 games. We was only heading in one direction anyway. And I'm absolutely delighted for these players and obviously myself and Junior and the fans and everyone. I'm pleased for everyone that we have been given this opportunity. But we was only heading in that direction anyway. Our form tells you that. And the form we was in with the way we was playing and we, we could have easily turned them two, three, four games into points. You had another six, seven points to, to our tally. We're third or fourth in the table. So, and this debate maybe wouldn't have happened. But as it turns out, you know, we find ourselves in on, on a points per game system. But the form we was in, we was only heading that way anyway. And let me tell you about the pitch, because I, I, I've read so much stuff. And it irritates me, but I get over it quick, because that's the type of person I am. But at the end of the day, I know there was other teams that come here and got frustrated about that pitch. I, and, and I get it. But the team that it affected the most was my team, our team, because it was our team that had to keep reorganising, refocusing, preparing again, getting over disappointment. It was impacting our momentum. Thankfully, it didn't. But, you know, the one team that suffered the most was our own team because our boys were just as disappointed turning up and having officials call our game off. And the pitch weren't great. We know that. And we'd have preferred to have played the games. So we've got in on a points per game system, but 100% I'm fully confident that we was heading in that direction anyway. So I think we're, we're, we're where we're supposed to be and we've given ourselves an opportunity. And we're all really looking forward to it. I'm absolutely delighted. You've got to remember, this is my first full season as a manager. And a club that's close to my heart, I've managed to get so far into the playoffs. And that is, I'm pleased with that achievement, although... That's all it is at the, at the minute, an achievement. And, and, and we want to finish the job that we set out day one on that grass over there in pre-season where our target and two targets were obviously champions or getting in the playoffs and trying to get promoted. And we missed out on our first target, which was becoming champions. And well done, Barrow, and good luck to them as well. Um, but we've given ourselves the second opportunity. So we're right in where we want to be. And we're looking forward to it. So it's going to be a bit different when we do come to playing the games with it being behind closed doors. But how much at the forefront of your mind and the team's mind will it be to make all those Beast fans proud who will be watching at home and I'm sure will be cheering you on? Listen, it's good. It, there's no getting away from it. You, you watch the Premier League since that's been back on the telly and the championship and what have you. It, it's certainly a very different sport without the, the fans in the background. Um, and it will be unusual circumstances, no getting away from it. But we need to be so focused that whether there was 10,000 in the crowd or 10 people in the crowd, we are so focused on what we're trying to do that it kind of doesn't matter what's, what's going on around us. And this is what I've been drumming into the boys. We are one game at a time and all our focus and effort is going into the overall game. 
but with half an eye on the, on the potential of, of two and three games. Um, we've got a three game season and the key is to get our fitness back to where it was and try to get as close as we can to the form that we was in before lockdown. Now, the feeling we had as a group of players and a group of men in the change room after the Woking game, you could just sense it. And I've been in change rooms myself where you could sense that something was happening. And obviously it's all new to me management, but I looked at my team after that Woking game and I thought they actually really start to believe themselves. Obviously the likes of uh, Paul McCullum coming through the door gave everyone a lift and he hit the ground running. But going back to your original question, you know, there's going to be no fans there, but I'm going to drum it into these boys that we are so focused on the job in hand, it doesn't matter if we were playing in front of 10,000 or 10 people. And just lastly, obviously the games will be away. Should we progress past Jova, it would be another away game before a final. Is that not really a disadvantage? Because had we, say, come seventh in regular circumstances, it would have been tough to go to two big grounds, former football league clubs who would have the crowd behind them. Is that an advantage with it being behind closed doors? Do you know what, Ad? If you get to the final, the final's at Wembley, I believe, yeah? I don't know if that's been confirmed or not, but the final's at Wembley. That ain't our stadium, but we'd potentially have to go there and win. So it doesn't matter. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a grassy pitch for two goals. And, and uh, sorry for the cliches, but we have got a pitch that we've got to go and produce our best football on. And we've got to outwork the opponent and outplay them and outscore them. And whether it's our pitch or their pitch, the target is the same. So, listen, I can only stress how focused I am and excited I am and absolutely delighted to be, to be in this position to have this opportunity to finish the season on such a high. But it's one game at a time. It's away from home. That's, that's how it is. So we look forward to it.